Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today I'm going to show you how to make a living filing cabinet. A fun little guy that can just follow you around and help you out with some chores. Not super useful, but a fun little thing to add to your world. Uh, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like. But most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay. So, two things we're going to need here. We're going to need a master key, and that's going to be a gold ingot, gold nugget, another gold nugget, and we're going to need a life upgrade, filing cabinet, four diamond, and four emerald. Now, of course, you're also going to need a filing cabinet and some file folders. If you're not familiar with how to make those, you can look them up in the JEI or any of my previous uh, filing cabinet tutorials. So, here I already have a filing cabinet made, and I've gone ahead and I put several different folders in there. You can see I've got some glass, sponge, spruce wood planks, birch leaves, and jungle saplings. I put those in there. That is a normal filing cabinet. Let's grab three things. So, here we have magnifying glass. Most importantly, we have our master key and a life upgrade. So, what a master key does is it locks a filing cabinet. If this was on a server and I was to lock that, no one else would be able to open this up and get any of this stuff out of it. I can still act it as normal, but anybody else would not be able to do so, even breaking it. So, uh, the key itself, the purpose here is really the way that your little living filing cabinet is going to work. If you have it unlocked, then the little guy is just going to kind of stand there. But if you have it locked, it's going to follow you around wherever you go. Okay? The next thing is the life upgrade itself. To use that, you're literally just going to right click on the filing cabinet. And now you have a living filing cabinet. He will follow you around, depending on the distance. You go to a different corner here, he will eventually <laughs> just follow you around. And he still has those same items in him. So, why is this important? Why would we use him? Well, he does a couple different things. Let's grab ourselves a stack of spru spruce wood planks. Now, he has a folder in there for those. So if some of those happen to end up on the ground, throw some of those out. You're going to follow me. You notice that they are going to go up. He's going to pick those up occasionally. Not always, but it, it does work. Uh, in creative here, it's a little bit more challenging, but um, it is a lot of fun because if, if say you're walking around just mining out a ton of cobblestone from, let's say, the Lost Cities or the Twilight Forest or something of that nature, then... As he's following you around, he will just go ahead and eat up those things and put, shove them right inside himself, inside of those folders, so you don't have to keep cleaning up all the mess behind you. Of course, he'll only be able to pick up things that you have folders for. Now, again, I'm in creative, so it's a little bit more limited with what he can do here, but in, I have tested this several times. It works perfectly fine in a regular uh, survival world. So had I not had him locked with the gold key, you can see up there in his description where it says tamed, right? If I did not have him locked, then it would not say tamed, and he would just kind of hang out in the normal spot, sometimes wander a little bit, but he'd always return to that spawn spot, no matter how far away you take him. I have literally picked one of these guys up. In fact, let's go ahead and try that here. Let's go ahead and see. grab this. Pick him up, and we're going to fly way out here into space. As you can see, I've gone and I've put a floaty McFloaty block way over here. I've done that so I have something to press it against. If I was to do that, he drops. But if we were to go back over to our, you'll notice that he's already standing here. He will automatically go back to his spawn place if something were to happen and you were to die or move off or you would go too far away. Even if he falls into it. Now, if he gets damaged, he falls into lava or something, that can be a little different. If he was to fall into the void, he will just reappear back at his spawn spot. Now, if you have a magnifying glass, you can shift, right click, or sorry, shift, left click, and that will just turn him right back into a regular filing cabinet again, which of course can be broken, moved, open, closed, locked or unlocked to do whatever you'd like. So now that I've done that, you see now that I've got that, I don't have him locked. He's not following me. He's just kind of staying in one spot. But they're fun little guys and kind of cool to hang out with. So uh, just something you might want to add to your little world to see if it's something you'd like to have. But uh, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my other tutorials, please be sure to throw those down in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. As well as if you have any questions or suggestions, recommendations for other tutorials that you'd like to see in other Sky Factory 4 tutorials, please throw those down there as well. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, onlydraven.com. 
And there you'll find uh, down at the very bottom of the homepage a place to submit feedback, questions, and recommendations via email. You'll also find a link to the official Only Draven Gaming Discord channel, which is open to everyone, my streaming schedule, links to all my tutorials and videos, links to my social media, and a lot of other resources such as the ODG store. So I do recommend checking out the website. But that is going to do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.